Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be working on using prime factorization to reduce fractions. Okay, so it's just one of the methods you can use to reduce fractions. Take a look. So we have the number 36 over 180. Let's prime factor each of these individually and take it from there. So let's start with 36. Now again, I just like to pick numbers to start. So I think 36, I think 6 times 6. So I'm going to write 6 times 6. Now is 6 prime? No. So we have to keep going. But 6 is 2 times 3. And 2 and 3 are prime, so we're done. 2, 3, and let's write it again, 2 and 3. So I'm going to write the prime factorization for that. Let me do it over here. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now let's prime factor 180. Let's do it on the side. Okay, so I'm just going to start with 2 and 90. Now the 2 is prime, so I can circle that, but I've got to keep going on the 90. How about 9 and 10? Well, neither of those are prime. So I gotta keep going, but I do know that nine is three times three, and that's prime. And I do know that 10 is two times five, and that's prime. So let's write the prime factorization for this guy. We've got two twos, two times two, and we've got two threes, and we have a five. Okay, I know there's a lot going on here, but concentrate on this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cross out when we see numbers that equal to 1. So for example, here we have a 2 and a 2. We know that's the same thing as saying 1 over 1. I see another 2 and a 2. Same thing as saying 1 over 1. I see a 3 and another 3. And then I stop here. I have a 5 on the bottom. So what does this mean? This means that on the top I have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. And down here. And on the bottom, I have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 5, which is 5, which means 36 over 180 reduces down to 1 fifth. Let's try prime factorization with this fraction, much bigger numbers. Okay, let's do the top, then the bottom. 375. Okay, well, I know that 5 times 75 is 375. 5 is prime, so I'm done there, but 75 is not. But I do know that 5, or 25 times 3 is 75. There we go, I had to think. 3 is prime, so I'm done there. And 25 breaks down to 5 and 5. Okay, so I can write the prime factorization for 375. We've got 1, 3, and 3, 5's. Now let's do 1,200 over here. Okay, so we could do 12 times, or we could do 120 times 10. Let's try that. Because we know that 10 breaks down to 2 and 5, so I'm done there. Definitely not done with 120, so let's do 10 times 12. And we know that 10 breaks down to 2 and 5. Oops, I should not have circled this 10. Got ultra excited. There we go. Now let's do 12. We know 12 is 4 and 3. So I can circle the 3. But 4 breaks down to 2 and 2. So it doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you pick some numbers and keep breaking them down until they're prime. Okay? So I got a whole bunch here. I got to pay attention. I've got a 2, 1, two, three, four twos. What else do I have? I've got a three. And I've got two fives. One, two. Let's make sure I did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I love when it works out. Okay, now we reduce anything that's equal or equivalent to one. So let's look for like factors. Well, there's no twos on the top, but we've got a three here and a three here, a five here and a five here. So now we multiply. Five times five. Whoop, wait, I still have one more to go. 
Yep, one more. Boom, boom. So I've got one five left. And I've got two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. Five sixteenths is your answer. So you see, all we did is we prime factor the top, prime factor the bottom, put them over each other, and crossed out things that were equivalent to one. It just makes it a whole lot easier to find uh, ways to simplify really large numbers. Okay, that's it for me today. Try the practice problems to make sure you've got it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.